Hey everyone. I'm a little bit tired right now. <sighs> Gas stretch. Um, I don't know why I always wear my jacket in these videos, but probably because it's cold outside. So, it's cold outside. Um, not much going on in my neck of the woods. It's the morning now. Just woke up after a good four hours of sleep. Good. It's actually good for me, so it's good. It's a new year. It's a new year. New things are going to happen. Experiences. Fucking puberty. My voice is going to change. So, stuff like that. Um, I don't know what's going to... I don't know what this year is going to be like. Am I going to be still single after this year? Am I going to have my grandmother here by the end of this year? Am I going to be living in this house? By the end of this year. Will I be moved out. By the end of this year. Will I get my life back. This year. I got the disability hearing. It's in about two weeks. I'm scared of shit. I'm scared I'm going to shave. I. I'll just. I hope I get for one reason and one reason so I can be done with it. If I didn't have to apply for disability, I would not. I want to make my own money. I want to earn my own money like I did at Hollywood Market. That was the best time for me in my life. And if I don't get this disability, I honestly don't know what I'm going to do. I can't stand up. I, I can't stand up for long periods of time. And found out that last week when I went to drop my mom's boyfriend Ron at work, or well for a job interview, I stood up with him, with some other people, stood there for a good five minutes, and about three times I was getting those heart pains that I was getting before my surgery, but I was getting those in like jolts, in like really bad jolts of pain, so I don't know what that is about. I need to go see my heart doctor and get that checked out because I don't know what's going to go on. Don't know if I need another surgery, another huge scar. I don't know what's left for them to do. I really don't know what the next big problem for me is going to be in my life. I got the ringing in the ears. You can't hear it, but I can hear it. I got the back pain. I got my grandmother. I got the house living situation. I got... I got me always pretend... I'm not pretending, but... I got me always thinking that... My friends are moving... Way ahead of me. And leaving me behind. I, I, I think that. I don't know why, but I do. Ugh, I'm crying a little bit. Sorry, I'm emotional. I'm an emotional guy. I can't, like, go back from tears to happy like that. So, there is this girl. This girl, I don't know if she watches my video blogs or not, but 
guess all the cats out of the bag now. But I'm not gonna say her name. It's the private matter. Don't want her to be like bombarded by people being like, "Damn, you damn right now! Jump off your toe!" <laughs> Can't do that voice. But no. There was this girl, and we ended up going to a um, event. And after the event, she was driving me home. And in my driveway, I just stood there, just thinking, just quiet, and she asked me why. She asked me why was I so quiet, and I'm like, I can't tell you. She's like, come on, tell me. And I'm like, no, come on, no, come on. So after a good, like, 20 of those back and forth, I finally told her. And I told her, Betty. Betty. It, her name's not Betty, that's a... Uh, False name, a makeup name, too. Yeah. You, you get the picture. Yeah. Betty. I know that we've been friends for a long time. And if I get my life back on track, if I get my back fixed out, if I am ready to move out of my grandmother's house, because I can't lie to her. I cannot lie to Betty. I can't. I, I just can't lie to her. Betty, if I get my life back together, if I, if everything gets fixed around me, if I push myself, um, would you consider going on one day with me? And if it works out, great. If it doesn't, okay. And we'll move on from there. And she's like, Brad, I don't like dating people that are my friends. Because I date my friends and I don't see them anymore. And I'm like, Betty, you drove 50 miles to see me in college. We ended up having a really good time there. Ended up just having a great time. And now we've had this event and there wasn't anything weird. So please put that into calculation that we made it through that so believe it or not and I know you probably don't want to admit but there's a connection there I don't know if it's a good connection or a bad connection so Betty she stood there for about a good 10 seconds well not stood there she was in her car but she said, yeah. She said, yes, to go on one day with me when I get my life back on track. So that was like a month, a month and a couple days ago. Because the thing should have been, it's every month and it should have been last month, but it was New Year, so it's not sweet. So that was a month and a couple days ago. And even throughout the severe back pain, I have been walking each and every day. I have been trying to eat better each and every day. I am trying not to get so upset with my life each and every day. I don't know if Betty realizes this, but that one yes that she said 
that more than me, that motivated me so much. It really did because Betty means so much to me. She really does. Now I'm not no like psyker, like psycho stalker or anything, but it just means a lot to me. She really does. She's the only person that I can't lie to. I can't lie to her. I'll tell her everything that's on my mind. I will. And she'll accept me for who I am. So, if me and Betty work out, then that'd be great. Then that'd be awesome. But there is one thing that's kind of in the relationship thing that I'm going to probably ask her to do. And it has nothing to do with me. My grandmother is getting to that bad stage of dementia that she'll start repeating like a story three times a day. If it gets really bad, I'm just going to ask Betty to, um, I don't know, pretend to be my girlfriend and introduce her to my grandmother. And say, oh no, yeah, we're a couple, you, you're happy now, I finally found someone, Grandma. Found someone to make me happy. And I want that to happen before she passes away. Because it's my business here. So I want Grandma to um, remember me when I'm happy. And not when I'm in pain. That's a to me, that's the best gift I can give her. A son. Sorry, I can't talk. Ah, emotional time. So, yeah. Aside from my grandfather, I can't really give her that good of a present. Sorry, I'm being emotional. I am. I'm being, I'm being real. Yeah. It's amazing one person can change your life so much. It really is amazing. That person can make you smile, they can hug you, they can hold you, they can tell you it's going to be alright. And I don't think they would ever leave. Why am I still talking about this? Well, here's why. I'd rather talk about this than talk about depressing stuff. I really would. Even though that all my video blogs are fucking depressing shit now, but not all of them are. No. Soon as I get my life back on no, every every day now I'm gonna make a video blog. I'm gonna tell you guys what's up. Man, yeah. That's gonna be it. I might shave this whole fucking beard. Because beard! Yeah, you know, I'm also growing my hair out. See, look. Oh, it's so hairy! I will become the fuzzy 2.0. Gonna eat my face. 
Anyways, that's... Uh, gotta get up. Mm -hmm. Gotta get up. Gotta keep on going. Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> that's my morning. So, if I make another video today, then I make another video today. So, until next time, guys. Keep on smiling. You smile. And your smile will transfer over to another person. And then that smile will transfer over to two other people. And that smile will transfer over to more people. And more people. And more people. And more people. More people. Wow. It's true. I also believe that why I'm learning disabled. Because it takes me a while to think of stuff. And I do stutter a lot. But, you know, I may have a slow thinking speed, but I believe that because of my learning disability, I can't really get mad. I can't, I can't get mad at a person, a friend. I can't. Some people, though, make me mad. So I guess I can get mad. Anyone can get mad, really. Anyone can. So, I have no idea what I'm saying right now. No idea. I'm just talking to you. Got two kinds of newspaper. One red, one yellow. You choose a red newspaper, all your dreams will come true. Choose a yellow newspaper, and... Yellow newspaper. Alright. I'll catch you guys later. I'll keep you updated on my life. Because, hey, if I die from a mysterious, like, accident or something, then you will have documentation of my life before that. Because I'll be smushed. I'll be smushed. I'd be smushed on the ground, I'd be like talking like this. So, I don't know why. I think the reason why I'm talking more is because I'm not going to my psychologist for my depression, so now I'm talking to you guys more. <sighs> All I want is my life to get better. All I want. I hope it does. I really, really do. And I'll push. I'll push my hardest until it becomes better. But you know what? Honest. Completely fucking honest right now. My back pain right now. Is around a 7 out of 10 right now. That's why I am leaning down in the chair. And the ringing of my ears is still going. Um. Yeah. If I had to be completely honest with you guys, my day is... It's a painful one. Just like yesterday. And the day before that. But... I'll fight it, because that's what I do. I'll fight the pain. I'll fight it to the very last drop of blood. No. I'll fight it. <laughs> this is where I die. No. I'll fight the pain. And I hope. Better you will. I don't know. Betty will get with Barney. Barney will get with Fred. Fred will get with Wilma. And Wilma will get with Di Dino. Dino. Dino? 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 Dinosaur? Dino! That's. I'm. Good night! Goodbye!
Keep on smiling.